seems to think that she's going to keep living with us after Mel gets back. Now, what I think we should do is be talking to certain people about this idea. I don't want to call Mel. I don't know how she's going to react, so I want to talk to her personally. The baby's recovering. Oh, that's great. Hey, now we can get back to study. Oh. I have last year's chemistry paper with your name on it. You know, I think it's great that you've been by her side through all this. I really do. But I would like to know that you're also keeping up with your own studies, too. Dad, just checking. What do you have to keep the truth from Romeo? Look, the only reason we're still together is because he thinks we're having this baby. Well, if you don't tell him, you're forcing me to tell him. I'm not pregnant. Oh, Ruby. You lost the baby. Hey, mate. There you go. I am all right. You don't have to put on a show for me. I'm worried sick about Ruby and basically confused about everything else. Well, if you're wondering why this has happened to you, I can understand why you'd be confused. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this sort of stuff, mate. I don't even know how to feel. How do you grieve for someone you've never even met? You spoken to Ruby about all this? There's so much I want to tell her, but every time I try, she just shuts me down. I don't want to push her. Take my advice, mate. If you think she needs it, give her a bit of a nudge. I mean, Miles and Leah didn't talk, and it tore them apart. You don't want to go down that track. <laughs>